So our first contact with the ACLU, I think, was in about 1992. I was uh, employed at OHSU as a professor of nursing, and my partner of then about seven years, I believe, and I had decided to have a child, and our first child was born, Katie, in 1991. And we were unable to get benefits. So uh, Carl was, I think, a cooperating attorney with the ACLU, Carl Kiss, and uh, he, we met with him, talked over the case, uh, I think in consultation with ACLU uh, Lawyers Committee, they decided that the best case, if not the only case, under the Equal Protection Clause would be that he would represent only the gay and lesbian couples, since the uh, heterosexual couples had the possibility of being married. They had a remedy for the problem, but uh, because we were uh, seeking benefits from the state that required that we be married and simultaneously denied the right to marry by the state, that was the crux of the argument. So. So I think the ACLU kind of guilt built this case around the fact that we were not allowed to marry, but being required to be married to get the benefits. Um, my parents never sought any kind of recognition, and they took on the Tanner decision because they felt like it was the right thing to do. And um, it felt like a thing that was bigger than just our family, um, and something that could help a lot of people out. So, you know, this was in the context of the really hateful ballot measures that were going on. So we had Measure 8, Measure 9, the Son of 9, which was Measure 13, over those years that were really trying to take away rights from gay people. So for us, this was the first win out where we actually got something. And it was really powerful from that perspective. At the very end of the um, appellate court, decision in 1998, we were meeting with Carl Kiss, our attorney, and um, the end of the conversation was Carl saying to us, you know, this means marriage. And that was really beyond our wildest dreams. It, we had gone for domestic partners because, partner benefits because we were sure that marriage was not going to happen in our lifetime. We heard about the um, plan to issue marriage licenses the night before uh, that began and um, went down to uh, the county courthouse building. Chris had a broken leg at the time and we set her up with um, in a lawn chair with a little table to put her foot on and um, sleeping bags. and. Uh, her best friend was with us and because we, we wanted to be first in line and so. they were first in line they spent the night down there and then in the morning uh, each of their partners brought the children and we all converged on the courthouse and um, and we're at the beginning of the line and so that was a really exciting um, moment to be able to go into the courthouse and get a license and then when we came out of the courthouse uh, our minister was standing right there and gave us a big hug and uh, said, well, do you want to go get married? <laughs> and um, we weren't expecting any of that, but... So we had seven weddings in a row at the church that day. So I remember I was sitting <laughs> in a meeting in the School of Nursing and got a phone call, I think, from you saying that it had been voided. And I just burst out in tears. I just, I was really devastated by it. I was, you know, we were surprised at how joyous it was to be able to be married. And I think equally surprised about how devastating it was to have it taken away. Now, the first time we had a, an attorney who was a, in solo practice, who had the backing and support of the ACLU and got amicus briefs from uh, attorneys from the ACLU. This time there was a team of, I think, six or seven attorneys, you know, a powerhouse bunch of people who were ready to argue on our behalf. And it was just, it was quite incredible. We went down to hear the oral arguments and we were just dumbstruck with just how brilliant the attorneys were and how articulate and uh, able they were to advance the argument. So it was, it was a fantastic experience to be able to sit through that hearing. The decision was going to be announced at noon on Monday, 
and uh, so we were waiting over the weekend. We'd heard on Friday that the decision would be announced on, at noon on Monday, so we went there very, uh, uh, feeling very anxious and anticipating, and uh, it was just incredible joy. The weekend of the wedding was pretty amazing. We had all of our family together, and uh, I think one of the most amazing parts was when it was finally happening during the ceremony. I know I was looking around in the crowd, and there were so many like, friends and family there to support us, and uh, it was a little hard to contain my emotions, but it was, it was a beautiful ceremony, and it was one of the happiest days I've ever had. We hooped and hollered. <laughs> it was, uh, I think there was a picture in the paper of Chris jumping in the air, which right. <laughs> doesn't I don't happen often. often. Do. <laughs> Not at my age. <laughs>